I will speak a little about non-verbal self-hypnosis. What does it mean? You can work with self-hypnosis in a non-verbal way. For example, you can work on the part of your body and you can pass an idea to your unconscious directly in working with a non-verbal with a part of the body. For example, working on the right arm, what is connected to the right arm, to aggressivity, to go, to react. And if we create, for example, a catalepsy in the right arm, at the same time, we distend we relax our body and we keep this sensation of catalepsy in the right arm for some time and after we bring again this sensation in our life we will find that we arrive to reduce for example excess aggressivity a person that for example is treated can create a small catalepsy in the right arm and it will see that the module of aggressivity in his mind will change and he will be more able to listen to the other person. Conversely, a person that is too much emotional and needs to be more logical could do the opposite. There are a lot of combinations of this type that speak directly to the unconscious because the unconscious doesn't speak the normal language. The unconscious speaks the language of the body, the language of the body. So we must speak to our unconscious through our body. This is the key.